Hi, so this video is inspired by a comment on one of my last videos called how to code a video streaming server using Node.js. I got a comment from Jai Ram and they said, really nice one, learned a lot. Is it possible to do the same, but from MongoDB? Yes, it is. So first I'm gonna go over the architecture of how this would work and then go step-by-step step through the code. If you just wanna to skip to the code, uh, I put a timestamp in the description so you can click on that and skip right to it. So let's get started. Here's what we're gonna make. It's one video that's streaming from MongoDB through Node.js and to this browser. You can see that the video is buffering so the user doesn't need to download the entire video to run it. MongoDB is a NoSQL database that lets you store JSON-like documents. We can store the binary of our video into a document. However, there is a size limit of 16 megabytes and our video could be much larger than that. To get around this, there's a feature called GridFS that can store files greater than 16 megabytes by splitting them into several document chunks. Another useful feature of GridFS is that we can ask it for a file stream from the database. This is super important because if we can't stream the file, we would need to load the entire file into memory and that would be very bad. When you stream, you can use a very small fraction of RAM and deliver the video much faster to your users. Now let's move on to the coding portion. First, I'll show you how to upload your video to MongoDB and then how to download it and stream it from your server to your client. And of course, all code is available on GitHub so you can run this yourself. And I've included a Docker Compose file, so you don't need to install a bunch of packages to get this running. You can just do Docker Compose up. Apologies for this upload method I'm about to show you. This is purely for demo purposes and not a particularly great setup to upload videos. But it should be able to showcase how easy it is to upload large files using MongoDB and GridFS. First, we import MongoDB and create our connection URL with username and password. Next, we make an init video endpoint that connects to MongoDB and checks if there is an error. Using the client, I connect to the videos database, and with this DB, we create a gridfs bucket that we can upload our file to. From there, we create an upload stream and name it BigBuck, and create a read stream from our BigBuck MP4 file, which is stored locally. And lastly, we upload the video to our uh, database by typing the read stream to the upload stream. And we're done. This should upload our file to MongoDB. And if we check inside our database, you can see our file and it has been split into this many chunks. For downloading, we'll do the same and connect to our MongoDB client. Creating a new client per endpoint may not be best practice, but this is purely for demo purposes, so bear with me. Next, we check for range headers in our request. This tells us where we should start the video from. If you're curious and want more detail, I do a deep dive in a previous video. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. Next, we connect to the videos database, which has our file. Access the fs.files collection, which is set by gridfs when we upload the video and make sure it returns a video. This is just metadata for our video file and not the actual file. We just need to find out how large the file is to create our headers. I go into deep detail on why we need these headers in my previous video, link down below. But in short, we need to tell the client what part of the video we are sending. In this case, we're sending the start they request to the very end of the video. We write those headers to the response and make sure to give a status of 206 because we are sending partial content. Lastly, we get our bucket from GridFS, create a download stream of our big bug file starting from where the video was requested. And finally, using the download stream, we pipe the video to the response and this streams it to the user's browser. All right, so that's your wrap up the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.